further evaluation with lumbar puncture should be considered. I see something that we're looking at. I asked for a tie vote in two to one. Two radiologists believe this. Hey, what's up? It's Samantha. Gray's not here with me right now because he's at work at his internship. I'm working from home because I pretty much always do. Today, I am going to the hospital to get a brain MRI. I talked about it a little bit in our vlog about the Indy 500. Basically, I've just been having headaches for three weeks now. They were a lot worse and now they're not as bad. They still really wanted to get an MRI for me just because they wanted to rule out cancer. Um, as fast as possible and then if they can rule that out then they can start ruling out like the other stuff that it could be which I'm hoping it is like I'm guessing that this is going to show nothing and I'm really hoping that it shows nothing but they want to make sure which you know makes sense because of my history with breast cancer and stage four breast cancer <laughs> so yeah this is my outfit of the day it is my classic hospital outfit. I've got the baggy long sleeve shirt and leggings and my compression sleeve, my white gold ring, which apparently you're allowed to wear inside MRIs and stuff. Did not know that. Um, I'm wearing a bra that's a sports bra that doesn't have any metal in it. And my hair tie doesn't have any metal in it and nothing that I'm wearing has metal in it. So hopefully they don't make me take anything off because I purposely wore something comfy and warm because you know how it's always freezing in the MRI rooms. And oh, here's Q. Hi Q. <coughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, see you at the hospital. Hey, I'm sorry because I forgot to film like anything in the hospital because I got there and they took me right away, which really never happened. On my way home at around 12.41, I got a notification from my chart saying that my results were in. The impression section says that there's a subtle leptomeningeal, <laughs> I can't say words, enhancement. It says this finding is not definite and could simply represent prominent vessels, but in this clinical context, further evaluation with lumbar puncture should be considered. And so I have no idea what they're going to say when they call me. I don't know if they're just going to be like, we haven't been able to compare this to another MRI because we don't have another brain MRI for you. So we're going to make you come back and do another one later. Or if they're going to make me do a lumbar puncture. Or if they're just going to say it's fine. So yeah, that's what I'm waiting for right now. But it did say like no evidence of mass or intraaxial enhancement. So that sounds like it's good news because, you know, a mass would be bad. <laughs> anyway, the MRI itself was not bad. I got an injection of contrast. So yeah, that happened. I could taste the contrast when it went in and it was kind of gross. Um, you know how it is. I had like the earplugs that you just stick in your ear. I'm guessing they can't give you like the full on headphones for the brain MRI um, because they're doing the actual head. And um, I laid down on my back. They put like a thing under my knees to make it more comfortable. And um, they had to put these pads like on the side of my head so that it would stay really still. And then they like put the little cage on top. So I had like the head cage and everything. It wasn't too bad. I don't, I'm not really claustrophobic or anything. It's not as comfortable as a breast MRI. Breast MRIs are so comfy. <laughs> Got my tropical smoothie because I'm me and I have to have a tropical smoothie after a doctor's appointment. It's 3 p.m. and I haven't gotten a call yet, so I think I'm just gonna call the cancer center and ask them if they can give me more information. I, I always feel weird about this because I know people in other countries sometimes take days to get their results back from scans and I'm like sitting here freaking out over like a couple hours. But um... What can I say? I'm spoiled and that's what we're gonna do. Hi, I had an MRI today and I was just wondering if um, someone could like explain the results to me. Okay, let me get you to the triage nurse. Ma'am? Yeah. Are you still there? Okay, so I was told that one of either the doctor's gonna call you or the nurse will call you back. We have been extremely busy today and he hasn't had a chance to look, but 
he will call you or her, his nurse is going to call you today, this afternoon. Thank you. Okay? You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So I don't know if you've seen the language online. Mm hmm Okay. So I went downstairs to audiologists and actually read it with, he pulled in two other radiologists, including the primary reader who already read it. I asked for a tie vote and two to one, two radiologists believe this is quote, nothing. Mm -hmm. um, this, this is just a normal enhancement, a, a slight normal thing. And I kind of like that we had a tiebreaker Mm -hmm. including some pretty conservative radiologists. Even the third one would have agreed with me. It's, quote, probably nothing. The other two wouldn't have even suggested considering an LP. Mm -hmm. So I guess nothing is perfect in this world, but I have about as close to the highest confidence as I can that this is normal. And it's like the ovary thing that scared us. And then we looked up the literature, and ovaries can be hot. Mm -hmm. Ovaries are metabolically active, if you remember that. Yeah. For everyone's peace of mind, maybe we should do an MRI again in six weeks. It will answer people's concerns from you to your mother to everyone else. So I guess I lean towards that, but I could be argued out of it because I believe this is normal finding okay. and not an issue. So I do not believe doing an LP is the right thing to do. And like in six weeks, if the MRI has, like, would this be something that is exactly the same and it wouldn't tell you anything or like if it's exactly the same i would say that this is nothing and we have proof of it mm -hmm. if it's completely gone without any signal of any potential concern that would be further proof that this is quote nothing okay so it would only be um, if it was like more extreme chance. what's that it would only be if it was like more extreme or something that's right. I'm more worried about your risk driving back and forth to the hospital <laughs> for another scan than I am this issue. Okay. So how come there was one person who did want to do something then? Um, because there's a little extra enhancement in that area. Just like the ovaries, your, your brain has active areas. Okay. And it, the problem is when we put history of breast cancer on a form... They get more it scared. Makes radiologists nervous. <laughs> like I said, I believe this is benign, a normal variation. You have active ovaries and active brain. Okay. If I had more concern, I would tell you I don't hide truth. Yeah, the headaches have gotten better too. So. I mean, oh, that's a good sign too. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. I actually called while I was looking at the films with Doctor. So tell me about the headaches again, and they don't even correlate with the area where this thing is. Even though I proposed an MRI in six weeks. If your headaches are completely gone, I think that's a waste of money and time. So take care. Yeah, thank you so much for calling. Ooh, yay. I call Gray now. What did he say? He got three radiologists in a room, and he, there was a two-to-one vote that we didn't need to do anything. <laughs> what did the third guy say? <laughs> they see something they want to look at. Yeah, there's there's definitely something there. Like there's something really tiny there, but it's he compared it to the MRI of the ovaries that I had before. We can have another MRI in six weeks, but he could even be talked out of that. Like it doesn't even seem that well, necessary to do that. that. Unless you want to. Hello, I'm just kind of now realizing that we didn't finish that last video about the brain MRI. After that phone call, I didn't really know what to think. I was reassured that there wasn't a mass or that there wasn't anything serious and that no one thought that we had to do a lumbar puncture. But you know, I wasn't positive about whether or not I wanted to do an MRI in the six weeks or anything like that. Basically right now, I feel even more confident that it's nothing even more than I did then, and here's why. <laughs> so first of all, just to explain something that we were talking about, we kept referring to when my ovary lit up, and that referred to my very first PET scan back in March 2019 after we found out I had cancer and we were doing like a full body PET scan, and they found a small little light up on my one of my ovaries, I don't even remember which one anymore, and they also found a small little light up on my rib. The light up on that rib ended up being cancer, which 
made it end up being stage four breast cancer and everything. But with the ovary light up, we did an MRI on it um, and it ended up just being regular metabolic activity. And it was seen to be pretty normal, especially if you are ovulating at the time of the PET scan. And I was like a normal girl at that time. I didn't have all these like hormone blocking things happening. So I was a regular functioning person and somebody um, that young, it's normal for their ovaries to light up. And for somebody this young, it's also normal for their brain to light up. The radiologists, especially at that hospital, aren't really used to looking at scans of younger people just because older people are usually the people that have problems. So they're usually looking at brain MRIs of older people or PET scans of older people. So they're not really used to seeing this kind of activity light up when it is in fact completely normal activity and it shouldn't really be seen as anything that weird. I'm very thankful that everyone's looking into it so closely, but um, it also means that like they catch some things that maybe aren't things that we really do need to worry about. I'm filming this right after we got back from our trip from the beach. And while we were at the beach, I barely had any headaches. I went from having a headache almost every single day while I was home to not having really any headaches at the beach. So that really does tell me that it's some sort of allergy or something to do with where I am and probably not related to whatever showed up on this MRI. Um, so that makes me feel a lot better about it. If I was still having the headaches, um, then I probably would get that other six week scan just in case, even though, like he said, it wouldn't even be that necessary. It would just make everyone feel better. We talked to the radiologist, that, one of the radiologists that read the scan. If that thing lit up and it was the really serious thing it could be, it wouldn't show up without something else, some other sign. Um, they just have never seen that happen before. And since there is no other sign, there's nothing else lighting up anywhere. There's no other symptoms that I have they feel pretty confident that it's not that. So if it's not that, then it's basically just regular activity. Anyway, I went from not really being sure about the results, not really understanding them completely, but feeling okay about them to completely feeling fine about them. And I'm basically just putting this in here to say like, I'm fine, we're not worried about it. You shouldn't worry about it. I mean, I can't tell you what to do like you guys I'll come out here and you're like, my doctor would have done this or I should do this. And like, you guys can worry about your health in whatever ways you want to worry about your health. But I'm just here to say I'm not worried about this really. And um, I'm probably not going to take any more steps unless I start to have more headaches or some other symptom. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm so sorry that Gray wasn't really in it. He was only in it for a little bit of the phone call that I had to him and then the camera battery died and so I didn't catch the end of the phone call. But Gray was more worried about it than I was obviously because like everyone's always more worried about the other person than they are about themselves. But anyway, um, in the next video, the beach vlog will have a lot more Gray so you stay tuned for that. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like because it really helps our channel out and check out some other videos and subscribe if you want to. Yeah, that's all. Bye.